The what in yoga is not as important as the how. What new pose I am going to learn today is not as important as how much more absorbed can I be in yesterday's pose. The practice of yoga is akin to the study or reading of scriptures. These texts do not change and yet every time we come across a passage we read some time ago, we discover something new. In the excitement to add more and more yoga poses, we often lose this awareness. Be absorbed in the poses every time you practice. That is true yoga. Namaste. Hello and welcome to Ayer Integrated Yoga Exercise Routine Class 95. Namaste. My name is Sundar Ayer and thank you for taking this class. We have our core exercises in store for us today. So let's get started with Vajrasana. Sit up tall and straight. This is the beginning of the inward journey. Focusing on the breath. Focus on your exhalation. Make your exhalations as long as you possibly can. Breathe in. As you breathe out, interlock your fingers. Pause here for a second. Always breathe through the throat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, drop your head back. Keep your spine straight. Get ready for three rounds of deep breathing and stretching. Breathe in. And expand your chest as you breathe out. Stretch your spine. And lengthen your exhalation. Breathe in once again. As you breathe out, lengthen your spine. Lengthen your exhalation. All right, breathe in. As you breathe out, stretch your hands and come down. Wonderful. Vyagrasana or the tiger pose. Breathe in. As you breathe out, come down all on fours, knees and feet, hip width apart. Vyagra means the tiger. We're going to go straight into the pose, hands and feet together this time. Right hand up, left leg up. Breathe in. As you breathe out, up. Toes and fingers stretched out, knees straight, hands straight, breathe in and out. Find the balance. Breathe in and breathe out. Make sure your feet don't start drifting down. Your foot should not, your legs should not start drifting down. Keep it up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, one more time. Breathe in. As you breathe out, come back down. The other side, breathe in, look up. As you breathe out, up. Toes pointed out, leg up. Breathe in and out. Focus on your exhalation once you get into the pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Make sure your leg is up and tight. All right, breathe out, come down gently. Watch here for a second. Now, this is, this is crucial here. When I say leg up, it's very important you keep your leg up because it's working on this part of the back here. So, if you, if you start drifting down because you're focusing on your breath, then you lose the traction here. This is what you need to engage. All this is for strengthening your lower back. Excellent. Now, let's move on to the upward dog. Knees together, feet together, get into position. Make sure the hands are perpendicular to the floor. Breathe in. As you breathe out, try and raise your knees off the floor. Straight. Your knees are straight, toes are pointed out, head above the shoulders. Drop your head back. Keep your face calm. Focus on your breathing. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, breathe in. As you breathe out, come gently off the pose. It's a powerful pose, the upward dog. 
okay arms stretched out in the front knees and feet hip width apart watch my feet i turn my toes inward get ready for the downward dog adho mukha shwanasana adho is forward mukha is facing breathe in as you breathe out adho mukha shwanasana shwana is dog drop your head down breathe in and out once again your head is relaxed go all the way down breathe out lengthen your exhalation as you are in this pose okay breathe in gently as you breathe out to come back on all fours wonderful from here we do the pigeon breathe in let's begin with the left knee as you breathe out bring the left knee forward right foot back feet turned out my toes to pointed out breathe in i'm leaning forward so as you breathe out straight in your spine drop your head back breathe out and you breathe in as you breathe out lean forward Place your elbow on the floor. Get ready for the twist. Straighten your spine. Breathe in as you breathe out. Twist. Once again, breathe out fully. Then you breathe in as you breathe out. Twist. Complete exhalation. Okay. Breathe in as you breathe out. Come off the pose. Sit down on the floor. Bend your knees. Hold on to your ankle. breathe in as you breathe out up press your ankle to the butt for those of you can rotate your hand around the ankle and get it down for this to happen you may have to twist your spine a little bit as i am doing so focus on your breath breathe in and out Okay, breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly relax. Come back on the floor. Breathe in. As you breathe out, get your foot across for the spinal twist. Breathe in. As you breathe out, hug your knee. Sit up tall and straight. Get into position. Breathe in. As you breathe out, twist. Breathe in. and breathe out and twist see your spine should be straight this lung is open so you're using this lung breathe out once you're in this position close your eyes observe your body mentally the spine straight as my knee close to the chest am i breathing you should be able to take full deep breaths in this pose too breathe in as you breathe out release gently breathe in one more time as you breathe out get back into pigeon pose breathe in as you breathe out come back on all fours into the cat pose let's begin the with the right leg right knee forward this time breathe in as you breathe out right knee forward breathe in as you breathe out straight in your spine drop your head back okay breathe in as you breathe out lean forward we begin this twist so breathe in as you breathe out get ready for the twist get your left elbow forward straight in your spine finish your exhalation then you breathe in as you breathe out twist you can twist a little more then wait breathe in as you breathe out twist then you hold it there breathe in and out once then breathe in and as you breathe out slowly come off the pose sit down on the floor hold your ankle breathe in as you breathe out up you go press 
your heels down to the butt, get it as low as you can. Breathe in and breathe out. For those of you, rotate your grip around the ankle, press it down. Breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly release. Sit down on the floor, breathe in. As you breathe out, get your left foot across the right knee, sit up tall, straight. Breathe in. As you breathe out, hug the knee, get into position, breathe in. As you breathe out, begin the twist. Straighten your spine and twist. Always be conscious of your spine, conscious of the fact that the knee and the chest should be close to each other. That squeezes your internal organs, the vital organs, the stomach, the liver, the pancreas, and you are twisting the spine. Wonderful exercise. And you are breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus on your exhalation. Lengthen your exhalation. Breathe in. Okay, as you breathe out, get out of the pose. Come back to the happy pose. Now this is where we begin our last stretch of core exercises, the boat. So for those of you, again, you can do this six, six inches, 45 degrees, the scoops. You can do all that by keeping your palms here. For those of you who want to, you could also have, you can also lean on the bolster as you do these exercises. Okay. For those who do not have a lower back problem, join me in lying down on the floor. Let's begin together. Breathe in. Six inches off the ground. As you breathe out, up, toes pointed out. Feet simply six inches off the floor. If you want, you feel right below your navel, you feel it tight. The muscles are tighter. This is what this is where you want to work your muscles prevent the belly from falling forward. You're engaging the muscles and strengthening them. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lower down. Let's go up 45 degrees. Breathe in. As you breathe out, up 45 degrees. This is for those who do not have a back problem. For those of you who do not want to engage or, or exercise your back too much, do this. 45 degrees. 45 degrees, so hang in there, toes pointed out, breathe in and out, breathe out, focus on the exhalation, breathe in and breathe out, okay, breathe in, as you breathe out slowly, bring your feet on the floor, I'm going to the scoops, so, like I said, some of you can be here. Some of you want to take it to a whole different level. Interlock your fingers behind your head. Let's begin the scoop as you breathe out. Up, scoop, scoop, feet all the way parallel. Up. Breathe in. As you breathe out. Oof. Breathe in. As you breathe out. Up. Wonderful. Breathe in. Now, as you breathe out, you can pause here. Breathe in. As you breathe out, come out. Okay. Breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly come down. All right. Now, all of you lie down on the floor. What we're going to do is attempt the Navasana. These are all variations of Navasana. I just want to start engaging the core. Navasana is I'm going to breathe in, watch here for a second. As I breathe out, I'm going to come up here as much as I can. If I'm here, that's fine. If you can come up more, that's fine. Engage. Breathe. Don't hold your breath as you do this. It's, it is very natural for people to go, Hoop! don't do that. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So the height is not important. Breathe in. Together, as you breathe out, up, you're here. Fine. Be here. Breathe in. As you breathe out, try and get higher. Now breathe in and out. Hold it. For those of you who can get higher, that's fine. 
balance breathe in and out breathe in and out you see this if i'm talking you're breathing breathe all right breathe in as you breathe out come down gently get the bolster out of the way we're going to the last one pavan muktasana or the wind relieving pose this is an excellent exercise for the lower back so i'm going to do it with both the legs i know we did with one leg at a time earlier but i think we can safely do this keep your knee slightly apart press the knee bring it closer to your chest and rock sideways if you want to it releases all the tension from the lower back okay get your knees together roll over to your right side watch what i do and press press it with your right palm press it down the left hand is out out here palm turns downwards press it you feel the spine twisting right here you feel the pressure excellent exercise for the lower back come up once again press it close breathe in as you breathe out the other side now this time left palm bring your bring your knee down keep your right palm out here if you don't do this you might tend to do this you don't want you want the twist the spine you see look up straight at the ceiling feel the pressure on the lower back come back once again breathe in let me make sure my transmitter that's all right get it close to your chest you may want to rock back and forth if you want to that's fine relax breathe in as you breathe out come up gently let's get down to our breathing i'm going to use a brick sit up tall straight comfortable breathe in 2 3 4 breathe out 2 3 4 5 6 7 breathe in 2 3 4 breathe out 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Five, six. One last time. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Enjoy the peace and silence for a few seconds. gently take a deep breath as you breathe out slowly open your eyes the beauty of these online classes is any time you want to be in a pose any time you just want to continue your breathing exercise any time you want to just enjoy the silence hit the pause be there enjoy the moment and when you feel it's time to move on release the pause and go with the class the class is within your control Let's open our hearts and minds and listen to the wise words of Ratanjit and prepare ourselves for the next 5 crucial but wonderful classes before we graduate from the foundation level. Until we meet again my friends have a blessed day. Thank you. Namaste. The power in me bows to the power in you, unifying us into oneness. Living in the present gives you a fresh start 
as you let go of old baggage of failures and uncertainties of the future. The best way to operate and sustain yourself in the present is to focus your undivided attention on the divine present within you and everyone around you. May the power within you enrich and empower your day.